welcome back. You hear the engines in the background because we are about to hop in to our second matchup of the day. What was supposed to be up against Radford University did end up getting swapped over to a loser's round three match because um, unfortunately they did end up no showing. So we'll be hopping to the game in just a moment's time here. Of course, do bear with us. Here we go. Florida State University versus St. Clair. Lower round three and what a good time there. It's going to be Christian getting the goal there for St. Clair. Yep, good start for St. Clair. I mean, that's what you need. And you know what, Florida State, no uh, no slouch here uh, this early on in the loser's bracket. So as we move into loser's round number three, um, Florida State, again, not a bad team whatsoever. They, uh, they they made a little some waves last season. Obviously mm. without CRL, we, we weren't able to see a lot of them, but nevertheless, a tough opponent here in the loser's bracket for St. Clair, but a good start nevertheless. Yeah, absolutely. FSU is never a squad to sleep on here. We see Fries, Luigi, and the rest of the squad here. Fisher as well. Look to put some pressure here onto. Or I'm getting thrown off here a little bit. It was the Saints on the offense that time by, but now looking to get a clear here. Nitrix demo is going to allow for Spoos to take to the skies, but immediately getting stopped right outside the crease. Yeah, see Christian rotating back, trying to keep this ball in the offensive zone. He does exactly that. Looking for a shot on goal, and he does. Christian does it himself and it looked like that right side of the field just completely opened up as there was zero pressure from FSU and you see Fisher just kind of I guess ran out of boost there in the in the back corner as it's going to be Christian getting his second of the game and it's going to be St. Clair up 2-0 and obviously on your on your left it's actually going to be St. Clair and on your right it will be Florida State so just keep that in mind as we move forward look to get that switch for you. As you see here, it's going to be Christian yet again, looking for that third goal. St. Clair with a solid two-goal two, two goal lead here in game one. Once again, a best of three. I disappear for one second. We got ourselves another one on the board, but fantastic job there for the Saints to keep this one pushing on here. Really probably kicking themselves with how that first match of the day ended up going, because I was definitely within reach here. So getting two goals nice and fast, even before the halfway point. Spoods is just straight up bodying people right now. That's going to be two demos on the board, and even coming back in time to make a save. Yep, Spoods doing it all so far today. And here's Christian with another good opportunity. Spoon trying to follow that up, and perhaps a little bit, a little bit of a miscommunication as both of them kind of back off from the ball. That was a Canadian Nothing standoff. Really there. <laughs> yeah, it's like no, it's okay. You take it. You take it. I don't want it. Unfortunate for them, but fortunately enough, they still have that two-goal lead. And now, as we get towards the back half of game number one, oh. and St. Clair in control, and a nice little touch there from Nitrix going to allow Spoon's coming in from the from the back to tap that one in. There we go. Never mind trying to get the first initial shot. Good actual first save there, but immediate rebound coming on through. So sure, the Saints kind of got clogged up in the crease of the first time by with that little Canadian standoff, but they were not going to make that mistake again. Immediately getting back there and scoring, putting themselves three ahead nice and quick. We just passed this halfway point here in the first game, so Saints are sitting pretty. Yeah, this is or what you want to see if you're the fan of the Saints or even a member of this team and the coaching staff. And you got to think, uh, obviously, a new coach with St. Clair. We'll talk about him in a little bit. But you got to think the message going into this one was just, guys, relax. Let's take it one game at a time. And that's exactly what they're doing. Mm -hmm. Back to back to business is the St. Clair Saints here in game one and losing round three. Looking good so far. Yeah, absolutely. Now, Florida is going to be trying to muster up some offense for themselves, but it seems like every single time they try, they get basically stopped right on the outside of the center circle. Good little pass from Christian on over to Spoods. Keeps it around the center line. Just killing time as best as possible here. Of course, no need to make any sort of like hyper extensions. You have the lead. Might as well just hang on to it and just get ahead by staying ahead. 100%, yeah. It doesn't look like there's a huge sense of urgency for St. Clair, and you said it. You, no need to uh, to overchild, no, no need to overextend at all. As uh, you're just trying to protect this lead, you got three goals to work with, so even if you give up one, you still got a bit of wiggle room. But Christian looking to there get something on goal, <laughs> somehow does with the help of Fisher, but uh, nothing going as yet. Ran out of boost, couldn't really do much more than he did. So St. Clair still putting the pressure on here, a minute left, but you see again, 
not sacrificing themselves to get a goal. Oh, he's Christian again. He's trying to make this aerial work. And to be fair, he is so, so close. Just basically a little bit of boost and one flip away from making it happen. But minute left on the clock here. Spoots is just managing to find all the demos into his favor. He's got like three or four so far in this game alone. So absolute enforcer here on the same side of the field. Christian now once again into the corner. Does manage to actually go over to Florida State. A little bit of a little breakout there for Fries. Pop fly into the crease itself, but the shot is actually gonna end up going wide, which means Christian just gets to manage to get the ball and the demo for his favor. Yeah, good luck there for Florida State. Really, their only good luck of the game is that one's going to go in as Nitrix just floats that one over the top of the FSU defenders and it's going to be 4 nothing. But yeah, Florida State just really have nothing going for them offensively. And <laughs> a little bit of an odd play there from Nitrix, but able to get one in. I did not expect a shot to be coming from that angle, given there was a four-car pileup in center fields. But, I mean, we'll take what we can get, I suppose. 20 seconds left to go. This one's basically all but done. Florida State... Definitely going to be going back to the drawing board in that quick two-minute break. Yeah, you, you need a quick breather if you're FSU. I mean, again, they just didn't have any quality scoring chances whatsoever here in game one. They just allowed St. Clair to dictate everything that happened on the field. And uh, like you said, back to the drawing board. Game two, backs against the wall here in the East Qualifier number two for the CCA Summer Series. And right now, St. Clair looking like themselves yet again with Nitrix on the squad. I mean, I will give Florida State credit. They got pretty much majority of their offense there. They're just lacking the finishing touch. And that's kind of been messing them up for the last little bit there. Because it's not like they were having any shortage of like offense either. There was five shots from Luigi alone. And then two there from Fries. And one of the players had the DC real quick and get back in here. So we lost that stat. But like Spoots had to make five saves this game. So it's not that the Saints weren't pressured. It kind of felt that way a little bit, though. It didn't feel like the Saints were really ever in a nervous position, but yeah. like the stats are saying otherwise. So it's there, just a matter of time. Yeah, I mean, the, the numbers don't lie, I guess. Uh, I mean, it, you're right, though. It just didn't ever feel like uh, there was any high danger scoring chance, mm -hmm. let's say, for Florida State. But uh, they did have some opportunities, and they're looking to do that again here in game two. This time, taking advantage, no goals on the board in game one. What can they do here with their backs against the wall? I mean, Fries was just absolutely beelining it, and it went right over to Christian, but that is going to be the save there from Fisher, immediately shutting Christian down. So no quick momentum grabbers there for St. Clair this time by. Spood still alongside, has lots of boost to play with, but a good little interference play from Florida State is going to put this right into the same zone. A yeah, bit of a miscue from Nitrix. Not sure how he missed that ball, but Spood's able to wrap all the way back and knock this one out, but Fries with a good opportunity on goal here, trying. Good knockdown. Yep, great knockdown indeed. Another opportunity again for Fish and that player. That's going to be Luigi just missing that one. And so there, there's the creative offensive chances for Florida State. But now it's St. Clair going the other way. Yeah, still just looking for that finisher, though. And Saints look for the first one of this game as well. Of course, we do have Christian alongside. Actually does get sent around here by Fisher, who brings it into the Saints corner, looking for the centering opportunity. Does do it directly over, forcing one of the Saints members, I believe that was Nitrix, to make the save. Now Spoods gets it towards center. Could not quite keep it, though. It's Christian looking for one of his teammates. And a near miss there. Nitrix was right on point. Unfortunately, got the car instead of the ball, though. Yeah, good opportunity. But now this is an opportunity for Spoods as he's tried to do it by himself as his teammates go back to their own end, collect some boost, and refocus as that ball is going to be bumped back down. And, well, good opportunity for St. Clair. Almost an opportunity for Nitrix to get his first goal of the series, but uh, nothing doing yet. Whew. It's going to be Luigi with a good opportunity. Shot on goal. Great oh. save from Spoods. Backline defense again. Fries with another chance in front. All out of boost, though, as three players from St. Clair finally get that ball clear. It's really FSU's first real opportunity at getting a goal and the lead here. Gosh, FSU was so close to finding that pinch right in the crease. That would have been an absolute rocket, but could not quite get there. Fisher now going to try and find the bounce shot. Not going to get there. Going to go a little bit wide. Saints have a brief opportunity to try and slow this down, but all Saints are literally piling onto each other to try and get this thing cleared. Granted, they do end up getting there. Pass on over to Spoods is not going to get there. That is going to be Fries with the interference pushing on forward. Centering attempt going to be stopped by Christian, but the rebound is going to be put aside. But now all the way from the Saints crease. 
just this immediate punish coming out from Spoods. Yeah, just an over push from the, the back lines of Florida State and Spoods takes advantage as you see Luigi pushed up just a little bit too far, trying to click in on the offense. Not gonna happen for Florida State. And well, you can't make mistakes like that against a team like St. Clair and they take advantage. Spoods was literally inside the Saints net to make that shot. But just like you're saying, with all of them so far pushed up, there's just nobody get back on the defensive side of things. So a big opportunity here for the Saints. And again, this time it's gotta be Nitrex secure this one after finding a pop fly in the center. Yep, pop fly again, set up by Spoods. Good bounce off the wall and great read from Nitrix too. Mm -hmm. that, that ball uh, could have been a very unpredictable bounce, but able to read that one in an easy goal from midfield as now the Saints up 2-0 as we are now in the second half of game two, once again controlling this series. It always boggles my mind how good these players are at predictions like that uh, all the way up into the skies when the ball is nowhere near you. But oh yeah, it's gonna come off the wall and come to me with such confidence as we now see Saints just confidently again invading the crease and making their presence known. And that's gonna be goal number three here for the Saints. Yep, first hit business as usual. No boost, just a little rear end tap in all the way from Sault Ste. Marie, Ontario. Putting that one home for St. Clair and pretty much solidifying the rest of this series, barring a miracle Florida State comeback, but it doesn't seem likely at this oh. point. As the double demo <laughs> coming in off of the face off from Christian, wow. That's uh, that's just a, a salt in the wound. Gosh, I was just about to say too, they just need something to kind of turn momentum and nothing just shuts it down like a double <laughs> demo. So just emotional damage done there from Christian to say the least, but a fantastic play there from Fries to put Florida State on the board. Yeah, I mean, they needed that goal probably within the next 25-ish seconds or so if they wanted a chance at this one. So they keep themselves Damn. in the game and now just under two minutes left to go. Two go two goals, still very much possible. Absolutely. But you're right, they need to they need some momentum and they need to bring it uh, right here off the face off. And they're gonna have to score within the next minute or so. I mean, if a double demo shuts down momentum, getting a solo play like that and just threading the needle as Fries just did there can just bring it right back into your favor. So honestly, good on Fries to be able to make that play happen. Get Florida State on the board, but of course two goals to try and come back from still Luigi does manage to find an opening to at least bring this into the Saints crease still kind of just hovering around the net deep in the crease shot on target is going to be pushed aside again but this time Nitrix was still in the net to make that save that great defensive efforts all around from the Saints Nitrix the last one there and a good shot on goal but a great save from Luigi a rebound coming in off the right post another demo coming in Nitrix with a second shot looking for that third but just gonna run out of gas, but Christian keeps it in for now. Under a minute left to go, Fisher trying to do anything to push this one out of their zone, but it's all St. Clair just dominating the offensive side. Spoons, great individual effort. Off the wall, this one's gonna be center for Christian. Good opportunity, <laughs> but great contest there from Fisher. The pressure continues. I mean, Saints have to be careful though. They could get themselves in a position where they've gone so heavily offensive that there's nobody home, but Spoods did manage to get back to get that ball above the crossbar. And just like that, now it's Nitrix. He's not beelining it by any means, but he's just keeping it to the skies, killing off so much time off this clock. The 20 seconds left to go for the Saints to move on to the next round. It's right there, but we see as the ball's in the Saints zone, it's definitely dangerous, but looking good for Saints. Yeah, killing time so, so valuable at this point in the game. Florida State tournament on the line. Not going to happen for them today as they are going to drop two games to zero here in the loser's bracket round three. St. Clair moving on yet again. That ball looked like it was about to trickle in, but not going to quite make it as St. Clair with a very convincing 2-0 series win. Okay, that's exactly what they needed there. After getting the first match there with Indiana Tech, like granted Indiana Tech's a fantastic team in their own right, don't get me wrong, but I, like pretty much everybody had it on paper that Saints was going to take that. So for, for that little gut punch that happened and then to rebound and get this decisive 2-0, I think the squad's basically back mentally where they need to be. So now we can move into lower round four and onward because we need as much... Uh, positive momentum as we can this is a good start absolutely and it does look like it's going to be the loser of grand valley state and uh university of south florida so yep. uh could be a tough opponent if gvsu happened oh, to fall it ucf actually just took down grand valley state okay so okay. <laughs> another upset here is uh well that's going to be the next opponent and 
Wow. Any given Sunday, but it's not Sunday, so screw the rules. Okay, so <laughs> GVSU, one of these teams that we would normally see in the tail end of like a, uh, a CRL qualifier. I don't know how many times we've managed to run into them in like the lower quarters or like semis over the years. So to play them again so early is actually kind of nuts. Yeah. So this one should absolutely be a banger, which is going to be fantastic for us for production-wise because we're going to have ourselves a fantastic match. But for the 